Hello, Kitty. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? Good, Chris of Sparkles. Chris of Sparkles is the it girl when it comes to Hello Kitty. So I'm visiting Japan LA to have a look at my collection. Oh, I'm so excited for all the goodies. This. Oh. This, this is like bringing me back to this. my childhood. We have to talk about this plush. This, I would say, was made in the early 90s. I feel like every Hello Kitty fan would go crazy about this plush because it's so nostalgic. And every person who sees this will always think back like, wow, this is exactly what I had as a kid. Oh. My gosh, I don't think I've ever seen a Hello Kitty abacus before. Hello Kitty has been around since about 1976 or so. The beauty about Hello Kitty back then was that she was such a universal character that it was all about primary colors. Like her bow was always red, she always had blue overalls or a blue dress. This would be a prime example of this being a legitimate vintage easy, item. Easy kid colors. Yeah. Looks like Hello Kitty is about to add to Ivy's Kitty. I think we need to touch on this, this bubble wrapped baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is like the holy grail of Hello Kitty. This is a crazy good find. Ooh. This rotary phone is such a big deal for every single Hello Kitty collector out there. And recently, there's a red version of this that sold for $1,000. I mean, the fact that I'm touching it is like, all right, I'm bound down to this. Uh -huh. So when you answer the phone, do you gotta say, hello, kitty? Yes, in a more seductive tone, yeah. Hello, kitty. <laughs> Being that my phone is awesome, we'll drive you bonkers and you bowed to it earlier. What do you think I get for my phone and all my Hello Kitty stuff right here? Well, Ivy, with the phone, the plush, the abacus, and all the other toys, I would have to say... $900. Ooh, raise Hello Kitty. Ooh.